Hello and welcome to the May 11th episode of Tiger Vision News. It's my birthday. I'm Tristan. And I'm Cooper. And, and TVN, TVN starts, starts right, right now. now. Congratulations to May's Seniors of the Month, Andrew Rumbly and Rachel Samus. Seniors, graduation is in a couple weeks, so make sure you have all your graduation items on time. Also make sure to turn in all of your scholarship applications before they're due. If you are a rising junior or senior and you plan to take concurrent classes this summer or fall, you need to get with your counselor as soon as possible. If you need to get your ACT score up to take concurrent enrollment next fall, Connors is offering a residual ACT at Warner campus on Thursday, May 24th at 8 a.m. See your counselor for more details. <laughs> and now please join us for a moment of silence. Would you please stand for our Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag? Attention, salute, Pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This broadcast is brought to you by Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Keith's Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Info Media, Dr. Debbie Coy, the Tigers Den, Mike Cooper Tractors, Fort Gibson State Bank, and Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center. This Sunday is Mother's Day, so make sure to treat your mother well on this special day. I'll be taking my mom to Honor Heights to see the butterflies. Let's see what everyone else will be doing this year. This Sunday is Mother's Day, a day for us to celebrate our moms or someone that we look up to. There's a lot of things that our moms do that go unnoticed. Um, my mom is always there for band stuff. She's always helping with the band, and she's always making sure I have what I need, whether it's money or like a prom dress. I love you, Mom. My mom does a whole bunch for me. She makes sure that um, if I have any trouble with homework, she helps me. Um, I'm on time for everything, keeps my schedule <laughs> in line, but I think the biggest I guess you could say sacrifices. My mom, you know, she's from Germany, so she stayed in Oklahoma in order for me to have a relationship with my dad. So that's like the biggest thing she's done for me. So thank you, Mama, for everything you've done for me. You're the best mama there is. Ich liebe dich ganz viel. My mom really cares for me. She's a really influential person in my life. I feel like without her, I wouldn't be the person I am today. I really, um, will miss her when I go to college, but I'll stay in touch with her as much as I can because I know that she will too. Not everyone has the best mom, so make sure that you tell yours that you love her. This is Lauren Wilcox reporting for Tiger Vision News. We love you, mom. Mom. I'm really excited to spend some time with my mom this weekend and hopefully get outdoors. Yeah, and hopefully it'll stay warm. Speaking of weather, let's flip it to Cooper for this week's weather forecast. Thanks, Audrey. Today we'll have partly to mostly very sunny skies and summer-like conditions with morning lows in the 70s and highs in the 80s with a southerly gust of wind. Saturday will be warm, muggy, and windy with increasing clouds during the day, and the morning lows should be in the 70s while afternoon highs ranging from the 80s to the low 90s. On Mother's Day, we would have mostly cloudy skies with a good chance of rain and thunderstorms with the passage of another cold front. Morning lows around 70 with highs in the 80s, and next week we'll start the day off. It will be cool down in the 60s early on, and only warming up to the low 80s. We would like to thank Channel 6 for providing this week's weather graphic, and now a word from one of our sponsors. 
Keith Hardware and Supply, since 1957, is located in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma's oldest town. We strive to find solutions to your fix. In addition to common hardware items, Keith Hardware offers a multitude of quality products and services, such as steel chainsaws, trimmers, and blowers, Cub Cadet and Johnson mowers and tillers, case knives, Yeti coolers, big green egg grills, Traeger pellet grills, and diamond pet foods. In early 2015, Keith Hardware completely remodeled the store and added hundreds of new items to better serve our customers. At Keith Hardware and Supply, we're proud sponsors of all Fort Gibson School events. Go Tigers! Sounds like next week will be pretty warm. Sounds like it. Do you have any plans for this warm weather? I'm going to go outside and play with my dogs. Do you have any? I have two, and they're both Afrin Pincher Terriers. Sounds like good companions. Now let's go to Gabe to see how he cares for his dogs, the German Shepherds. The German Shepherd dog, also known as the Deutscher Schäferhund, is known for its adaptability and intelligence. Ever since the Deutscher Schäferhund was first bred in 1899, the dog breed has been extremely popular and reputable just because of its adaptability. Actually, in Germany, Schutzhund was developed, which is just a sport that basically evaluates the dog, and it was created specifically for German Shepherds. Out of all of the dog breeds in the world, the German Shepherd is the third most intelligent and one of the most adaptable dog breeds. Think about how hard you can bite down on something, multiply that by three, and that's a German Shepherd dog. This 240 pound force is enough to kill a human, break bones, tissue, and tear tendons. On a lighter note, German Shepherds can learn basically any simple task after only five repetitions. So it's really easy to teach German Shepherds. They usually learn something and retain it for the rest of their lives. So now that you just know a little bit about the dog breed, and I've told you about my dogs, Max and Apollo, let's talk to another family about their dogs and see what they think. So this is Harley, and Jesse is over there. We've had them for... Well, they're about a year old and we got them when they're two months old and they have been super challenging at times um, they're both super crazy and don't like to listen a whole lot but oh I love them so much they're great uh, training for my dogs has been pretty good I haven't had to do a whole lot of it my sister usually does a lot of that but they've been doing really well as they get older maybe now you will adopt your own German Shepherd dog if so, be prepared to spend time with one of the world's most intelligent and popular dog breeds. This is Gabriel Reed reporting for Tiger Vision News. Those dogs were super cute. I know, right? And they seem really smart. And athletic. Speaking of which, let's check in on this week's Tiger Sports. Katie? Katie? <laughs> Golf Boy season's completed, finishing fourth at regionals. Connor Calavan qualified for state tournament and finished 42nd out of 73, so congratulations. <laughs> golf Girls competed last Wednesday and Thursday at 4A go Girls Golf. Rachel Thomas placed 10th overall and was All-State, being invited to play in an All-State tournament this summer for the Eastern Region. Our, <laughs> our boys soccer scored a nice win against Oklahoma City Southeast, 2-1, and will be heading to finals to play <laughs> today at 8 in Sand Springs. So far, our soccer boys are 15-4 area champions and regional champions. Wish them luck today. And now, a word from one of our sponsors. If you're looking for some local entertainment, look no further than Green Country Lanes located on South York Street in Muskogee, a prime place for open bowling, birthday parties, and glow bowling. Come on out to Green Country Lanes where bowling is a sport for those who have talent to spare. Earlier this week, Foxy Award winning world renowned photojournalist Jason Wicks had the opportunity to talk some, to some fifth grade teachers and students about the egg drop. Let's go more information. <laughs> Let's see what's cracking. Hopefully it's not the eggs. <laughs> I've been doing this egg drop project for probably over 10 years. It's one of the highlights of fifth grade, one of my favorite things to do. Um, basically, we first study Newton's laws and uh, about how things fall and the speed and velocity with which they fall. So they are then to try to create something to uh, defy gravity and prevent the egg from falling at such a rate that it breaks. Oh, that one. Oh, that's 
strawberry holder and filled with bubble wrap and has a parachute made out of it. bubble wrap. Uh, a milk jug. You can have it. A lunch box, but call it a cooler either way. Well, because it's all like, in it's so intense and it's like to watch, to watch people drop eggs. <laughs> I can't believe we only have a week and a half to school left. I know, this school year has gone by really fast. I'll really miss our graduates, but at least we still have our Riddler. Agreed. Now let's go to Noah for this week's episode of Riddle Me This. Schools teach us that intelligence is measured by how well we do on tests, but I'm here to prove that intelligence is measured by how well you perceive a question. This is Riddle Me This. You ready for a riddle? Sure. Yes. All right, I'm weightless, but I can be seen. You put me in a bucket and I'll make it lighter. What am I? I I'm weightless, but you can see me. Put me in a bucket and I'll make it lighter. What am I? Air. No. I'm weightless, but I can be seen. You put me in a bucket and I'll make it lighter. What am I? Bubbles. No. Light. No. A candle. Cherry Greek yogurt. Why are you so specific? <laughs> Water? No. It's a hole. Oh, it is a hole. A yeah. hole! Like the movie Holes? Oh. A hole. What? A hole. What? <laughs> really? I give up. Bye. That's all the time I have for this week. See you next week on Tiger Vision News. If you miss getting your book, go to the office and see Miss Bobby or Miss Patty. They are $50. If you love watching the news, think it'd be great at recording, or you'd like to be part of the Tiger Vision filming crew next fall, go to Miss Paris Photos Room and pick up an application. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching this week's episode of TVN. I'm Tristan. And I'm Hunter. Tune, Tune in, in next week for more Tiger Vision news. Who the gayest people alive? Oh, it wasn't recording.